So uh, I just wanted to welcome everybody back for Liberation Technology. And I, I wanted to point out a couple aspects of uh, the junction point here. We've been asking questions about, well, wait a minute, what about this cause? You're on indigenous land. Or what about the, uh, the politics or the business side of the situation? Thank you so much. So uh, some, something that's very exciting about this conference is that it, it, was, it was those who answered the, the call was spontaneous. And those who, who do so tend to be cross-pollinators. We tend to find places where cultures are, are, are intersecting and emerging. And so with, with the work of Reclaim, we, we have brought together the concepts of best uh, institutional solutions and, and the, the legal framework that's sort of behind the, the world as we know it, and the emergent causes, the, the collective mind. Um, for instance, Occupy Wall Street was basically a, a collection of communication tools. It was a way for us to, to listen and, and to gather the, the wisdom in any p particular region. So what a lot of folks who may have not have made it down to an occupation in, uh, uh, themselves would not have necessarily seen that we had bicycle generation stations set up. We had uh, sort of the, the meta mind, the potential for one person to struggle and to have that struggle be heard and recognized and answered by the collective. That's the power we have. It's the power of esteem. It's the power of independence and autonomy. And it's the power of being able to provide mutual aid or support. So those are the basics. Right now, as, uh, as our keynote speaker, I'm very excited about here, uh, Robert Steele has, has mentioned on, on numerous occasions that the, 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 the vast amount of information that we keep from our loved ones, that we keep from the people in our household, but the banks know, and you know, the, the internet service providers know what you're doing when nobody else is watching. And so if, if we can embark together in a world we're not hiding from each other, in a world based on truth, trust, and transparency, where we can practice authentic communication, where we can share the, the, the wealth of possibility from a shared standpoint. We currently are using uh, you know, the old systems, the old framework, and it, and it has limited our possibilities. So what we're bringing together here are the dreamers, the folks who are ready to, uh, to answer the, 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 the numerous calls that are needed to, uh, to be able to address the, the crisis of our times. Uh, so we mentioned the XL pipeline. We, we mentioned the, the, uh, the, 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 the numerous uh, opportunities, the FCC right now, looking for, uh, looking for, 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 for input and, and uh, feedback. And it's the one little area we have to, uh, as a public, to have our voice heard until such time that we've built this thing together. As, in the words of Buckminster Fuller, what we, you know, uh, build the system that makes the old one obsolete. And so we need those folks, the pioneers at the front land, and we need to understand their story. We need that thick description, that deep and a deep appreciation of, of the journeys. And so I'd like to introduce uh, a veteran attorney activist who's done uh, quite a bit uh, on, on so many fronts, and we're so glad to have him here to share his story and, uh, and, and, and to rein in on the open source imperative that we're all facing, a uh, shift in culture and a, a shift in the way that we use technology to liberate. Thank you. <laughs>